Hi guys, this is Rob Lambert with AssetProtectionTraining.com. Last month, Dean Barrow, the Prime Minister of Belize, signed some new regulations which forever changed the asset protection world. You now can use the tools he provided to you to give you the equivalent of a tactical nuclear weapon to fight your creditors off. He has given you a tool which will forever change the way you defend uh, yourself in the event of serious attack. Let me talk about what he did and what it is, but first I want to start with an overview of my 10-minute perfect offshore asset protection plan. And there's a link to it right underneath this video. Those of you who watched my video on the perfect offshore asset protection plan will recognize this diagram. It is what I think a typical person should ideally have in an offshore asset protection plan. It consists of three parts. The first part is the asset protection trust. This little bucket right here, that has a trust company, it has you as a set lore, it has somebody as a protector, and it has somebody or group people as beneficiaries. This is a typical asset protection trust structure. The problem with it is this trust company here runs this asset protection trust. And the set lore, that's you, does not run this asset protection trust. That means you, my client, and set lore are vulnerable to this trust company. You're forced to trust them not to steal from you. And remember, in that 10-minute video on the perfect offshore asset protection plan, I gave you a little word trick, the word stop. And what does T stand for? Trust nobody. Never, ever, ever trust anybody. So if you just do this asset protection trust alone up here, this trust company is in charge and you're forced to trust this trust company. It's going to get you in trouble. You're going to have your money stolen or something bad is going to happen in the long run. Uh, that's not to say the trust companies I refer you to aren't the best in the world, but you never want to trust anybody unless you're forced to. So this is alone, this top part alone is not good enough. What everybody needs to do, and I've explained this in the 10 minute video, is add an offshore LLC. This is typically what people do. And why do they do that? They do that because two reasons. First of all, banks are much more willing to open bank accounts when you have an offshore LLC. They don't want to open bank accounts for human beings. And even they don't like asset protection trusts that much. But when you put an offshore LLC in place, it seems to cover a multitude of sins. They seem to be willing to take uh, the accounts. It's been going well for quite a few years doing that technology and that technique. And the good part is when you put this LLC in place, this little orange thing, you have control. You've reestablished yourself as control, not by virtue of your status as set law. You have no say so over here, but by virtue of your status as being the manager of this LLC. And when this LLC goes and opens bank accounts, etc., cetera, uh, or, or engages in investments or buys stocks and bonds and any currency it wants, the management and the control over those invested assets is with this person, the manager of the offshore LLC. This is typical. The structure is the same, but the paradigm has changed. The new Belize Offshore LLC Act is absolutely the best in the world. That's not why you'd ever go there. There's a lot of great LLC acts. Nevis has a great LLC Act. It's modeled after Delaware, and it takes the best from several other jurisdictions. Well, Belize went and took the best from Nevis, the best from Delaware, the best from several other jurisdictions, and added its own provisions. And they added one provision in particular, which turns this from a plain old good LLC to something which is a tremendous asset protection weapon in your hands when used correctly. And what is this provision that turns this offshore LLC into the equivalent of a standalone asset protection plan almost? Well, here it is. The Belize Act, Section 37.7 provides, every creditor shall, before bringing an action or proceeding against any limited liability company property governed by this act, shall first deposit with the Supreme Court registry an amount equal to half of the amount claimed or $50,000, whichever is greater, notice the word greater, for securing the payment of all costs as may become payable by the creditor. 
This is immensely significant. This is probably the most important asset protection legislation in the world. Why? Because it puts an incredible disincentive for anybody attempting to attack a Belizean LLC with money in a Belizean institution. What's the problem? The problem is that if they want to go after you, they have to put cash. This does not say post a bond. This does not say have credit. This does not say negotiate with the judge how much you're going to put up. This says if you want to recover $10,000 from somebody with a Belizean LLC and a Belizean bank account, you're going to have to literally put up $50,000 as the entry price to go after that $10,000. If they want to go after $10 million, they're going to have to post $5 million in cash. And believe me, the Supreme Court Registry is just a little teeny building, about five, 6,000 square feet, built in the 20s by England. And there's, uh, you know, there's a little office, and you'd have to walk in there with cash. What a disincentive. Guys, the Belizean LLC Act is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'm not going to go into it in any more detail tonight, because I'm going to be going into it in detail next month. But for now, just take it with you. You have a tool you can implement for next to nothing. The costs are very slight compared to the value, and it will stop almost any creditor in its tracks. It is time for every person who's part of my site to take control of their life and to stop these people and to know that they can fight. You never, ever have to be vulnerable again. Don't let them get away with beating you up, and I'm here to help you Make sure that you can stand on your own two feet, hold your head up high, and stop these guys from hurting you. Thank you very much.